As healthcare professionals or a student, we know your time is precious. That's why we made our Markov modeling tool as easy as following a step-by-step -step wizard. Let me show you how you can model a simple three-state Markov chain where a patient can transition from a healthy state to a sick state or a dead state. Start the decision tree software. You may choose to create just a Markov chain or a Markov decision process without any decision tree extension. Then click this Markov model button. Another way is that, say you have a decision tree where you have two actions. You can select a node on your flyover menu. You will see an M button. Click that, and then you will see the Markov wizard will start. Anyway, say you have started Markov modeling. Now, create three states, healthy, sick, and dead. Now proceed. In this step, the question basically means if you want to add any Markov action under a state. For example, in a Markov decision process, there can be more than one activity under a state, and based on a taken action, your transition probability will change. For this simple demo, let's stick to only Markov chain where there are just states and no action. So click the No button. Now you will see the Markov simulation settings page. Here, you can define how many state transitions you want as a cohort simulation. You can specify when to stop the simulation, like when state probabilities do not change more than an epsilon, etc. You can also specify a Markov state duration, like one cycle is equal to five years. You can apply half cycle correction from this page as well. For our demo, we can leave all default settings and proceed. Now you can set the transition probability from state to state. First, healthy state to other states. Say, healthy to healthy transition probability is 0.7, healthy to sick transition probability is 0.2, and healthy to dead transition probability is 0.1. Notice this box? By checking this box, you can use a time variant probability where the patient can have different probabilities for transitioning from one state to another based on his age. Naturally, the older a patient gets, the higher chance of transitioning from healthy to sick or sick to death, right? If you check this time variant probability box, then you will see a carousel of transitions. If there are only two states, then you can select one transition to set up the time variant probabilities, and the other state transition can be set as complementary. That means the other transition will be auto-calculated to sum up as one. Now, let's show you what Visual Function Builder is. It is even simpler than the lookup table. You can double-click to add many points for various ages and drag and move the dots to set the probability for that point. Then the other age probabilities will be interpolated accordingly. Also, you can use an exponential function where T represents the cycle number. Set the R, or rate, for the transition probability. Click the Lookup Table button. Now, open your Excel file and select the columns where the first column contains the cycle number and the second column contains the probability. After selection, copy the data to your clipboard. Now. Get back to the decision tree software and click this button to import the table from your clipboard. See? The Excel table is now imported to the software. Cool! We have a separate video with such an example. For now, let's keep our model simple by not checking this box. Now proceed. Same as before, set the transition probabilities from the sick state to other states. Now proceed. Okay. Dead is a special state from which a patient won't transition from a healthy state to a sick state, right? This type of state is called the absorbing state. The probability of transitioning from this state to all other states is zero. You can check this box to mark a state as an absorbing state and then proceed. Now, you need to specify which state is the initial state. Let's choose the patient who started as healthy. You can also use an uncertain starting situation by checking this box. Then you can set the probabilities of each state as the starting state. 
but let's make the starting state certain. Now the software is asking if you want to set a reward on a state. Yes, we could say healthy state has one utility point, the sick state has 0.5 utility point, and the dead state has zero utility point. Click the Yes button. Hmm, you could choose a regular single or multiple criteria based analysis. Assuming you are a healthcare student or professional, you might be more interested in cost effectiveness analysis. Let's click this cost effectiveness analysis button. Here, you can define your effectiveness as quali or dali. Navigate to the Cost tab and check the Minimize Cost box if you want to include cost in your reward. Now proceed. Here, we can set up the cost and effectiveness of the health state, then proceed. Same as before, you can specify the cost and effectiveness of sick state and then proceed. Finally, set the cost and effectiveness of the dead state. Congratulations! Your Markov model is ready for your analysis. See this diagram. You have a plethora of charts that give you various perspectives on your Markov model. You can see all charts in a separate window for a better perspective. Here is the survival probability function, which must be a very important insight for you. Here are the probability traces. Right-click on any chart to view its data table. You can even export the data table to Excel. Many charts give you separate views of cost and effectiveness. Here is an interesting tool. You can use a custom expression and generate a chart accordingly. You can drag and drop a variable here and then you can use sophisticated formulas like exponential, logarithm, square root, and or brackets and whatnot. Expand the cohort simulation table. Here you will find the detailed step-by-step -step tracing of the cohort simulation. Yes, of course, you can export this table to Excel. If you have multiple Markov models in your decision tree, like this one, then from the Markov Analyzer panel, you will be able to select a Markov node for the analysis. Now, I will show you how to modify the Markov model. Once you created the model, you may want to add a new state or change the transition probabilities, reward, etc. You can select the Markov node and you will see a flyover menu like this. Click this button to add a new state. Double click the node to edit the text. Now see this question mark and click on it to set the probability. You can click on any number of the edges to change the transition probability. These numbers represent the transition probability from state to state. Let's click on this number and change the transition probability. Let's use a time variant probability where the probability will change based on the cycle number. Notice the probability of this transition. It shows the function of t. That means the probability of this transition is not fixed. Rather, it changes based on cycle number or time. Select a node and hit the delete key to delete. Drag and move up or down a node if you like. Click on the payoff number on the node to change the reward or payoff. You can even go to the criteria page and redefine your payoff criteria. Notice the tooltip on a node shows a lot of useful metrics. You can add additional notes on a node. Notice that the probability of a healthy state is shown as one. This is the initial state probability that we did set in the wizard. You could change that by clicking this number. Thus, your initial state got uncertain. 
You can easily set a state as an initial certain state by selecting the node and right mouse click. See the context menu, set as initial state. Same as setting initial probability, you can set a state as an absorbing state from the same context menu. Notice the color of the states. The complete black color indicates that the state is an absorbing state. The gray color indicates that the transition probability to move to that state is zero. If you want to add an action under a state, you can select a node and click this flyover menu button. Add two actions, medication and surgery. Now, you can add transition probability for a given action, same as before. You can even add a reward or payoff to an action node or a state node by selecting the node and clicking this flyover menu button. Notice that this green color edge tells you that the calculated policy is such that when the patient will be hospitalized, the best strategy is to take this action. You can view the evaluated policy from this separate panel as well. This panel will show up only when the Markov actions are used in a model. Okay, even if you chose a Markov node as your root node instead of a decision node, you can even insert a decision node before the Markov node to perform a decision analysis. For example, in a decision tree, you can have two Markov models, and then you can examine which Markov model gives higher cumulative expected utility. So, when using a Spice Logic software, you are never too late to make any change. There are many other features that you will discover once you use the software and explore at your pace. I hope this presentation was useful for your learning. Please feel free to reach our help desk if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.